every great brand needs its own drinkware. Commencing transformation. I'm just busy, I'm not gonna lie. Really Big red head. at the beginning of the video every great brand needs its own drinkware well funny thing is I can't say too much on it in this video but I have my own branded drinkware not JF, not JF TV. I mean, yeah, JF TV will have a brand on top of the brand, but I have come up with a brand name for Infinite Masterpiece to have its own drinkware. You know, like tumblers, stuff like that. And I've got the name, I've created the logo, and it always happens at two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning is when I come up with this stuff. And I see a vision in my head and I make it. Well, I can't talk about the name just yet, but I am, I looked up the name doesn't exist. I mean, it exists under anything but drinkware. Well, one thing. And it's not even for drinkware. It's for something completely different. And how I created the logo. Wow. I seen it in my head. I'm like, can I do that? And I did it. And I'm like, oh... But let's just say that I'll get to that in future videos. I'll probably do a video specifically announcing the, the cup. Let's go to any, any store, whether it be Walmart, whether it be Target, whether it be Academy, whether it be, um, you know, any company that sells double vacuum sealed stainless steel cups, whatever. If you look at the material, you look at the cup, every last one of them look like a Yeti cup. Well, Yeti doesn't actually make their cups. Yeti gets it from a supplier in China and then adds their engraving and stuff to it. Well, I found the maker of Yeti cups I may I found the supplier to Stanley Cups. Um, I've even I'm not gonna sell the cups that um, Walmart has made for them, but I've found the Ozark Trail, which is I think at one time was Walmart's brand. I think Walmart m moved over to Lifetime. They literally call their thing lifetime so like a lifetime warranty lifetime and honestly I thought about it and I'm like I can literally get 10,000 cups for about 
Yeah. No. Um, so the Yeti style cups you will be able to use with Yeti products, like the Yeti tops and whatnot. but it will be branded with the brand that I came up with rather than saying Yeti on the bottom of the cup. Um, custom cups are a possibility, like right off the bat. Um, you won't have to wait weeks for it because companies, companies like Yeti will make your cup in China and then ship it from China and then ship it not to your door but they'll ship it to them and then they'll turn around and put it in their own branded box and then ship it to you which could take anywhere from one two maybe three weeks before you even get that cup well with infinite masterpieces brand added on to the infinite masterpiece parent brand you'll probably wait no more than a week to receive your cup because unlike me calling on a Chinese company to do the engraving, I can do the engraving myself and then ship it out to your door. But in the end, my cups will still be more affordable than Yeti. They'll still be more affordable than Stanley. They'll still be affordable regardless. And when you get a custom cup, like I can engrave something from a picture on your cup. I can engrave something as simple as um, your child writes you a handwritten note that says, I love you, daddy, or I love you, mommy, or I love you, mom, or dad, or I love dad, or whatever. The possibilities are endless because, you know, my We Create can literally take a picture of a picture of a handwritten note or even take the actual handwritten note itself. Can literally pull that that data, that picture, um, the handwriting straight up off a piece of paper, straight up off of a, a picture. I can literally upload a picture to it and it will literally take, I can literally get rid of the background of the note and turn around and engrave it on virtually anything. Um, and also, you know, right now I'm just trying to work on getting certain things restored. Like I just got, for the most part, the Legendary Freedom Collection um, back up. I'm about to do the Royalty and the Worth More Collection. And then I Can't Quit Collection. And then I can go back to putting other collections back on there. As well as adding some smaller things for the... Um, other collections that I have up and then I have I've pretty much as a way of saying sorry for Wix screwing me over is a lot of y'all don't know that I went back to Shopify because apparently they brought back their lowest tier um, plan again why they even got rid of it in the first place is beyond me I guess the shareholders were just like, oh, well, since we're going public, we need to get rid of the lowest. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not getting into that in this video. Um, so some of the other collections that I've had in the past, like Dear Person Behind Me, that was a remake of the one that was going around TikTok. I changed it ever so slightly because I don't want to get sued. Um, I'll be bringing that one back. I'll be bringing back the very grunge-looking Faith Over Fear back. Um, just like right before Mother's Day, I launched Mother's Love Collection. I'll also have a Father's Love Collection, even though Father's Day is... 
I think, a, less than a week away. By the time y'all see the video, it'll actually be a week behind or two weeks behind, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I have the new and improved Heroes, which features the legendary freedom flag, and I'll throw that up here. I'll show you the original legendary freedom. Actually, no. I'll show you the original design, if I still have it on my iPhone, of the Heroes flag, which is just a normal American flag with the single stripe color. And then I changed it to use the Infinite Masterpiece legendary freedom flag with one color down, you know, the thin line down um, one of the stripes. Um, I'm bringing back I Am Versus. I'll be bringing back the Mental Health Awareness Collection, even though mental health in general was over in May. But I think June is Men's Mental Health Month. Um, I have my version of Not Today Satan, which I created. I have another one called Those Who Sacrifice, which is which was originally a part of the Heroes collection at one point, but it's straight up for the nation's military. So certain items of the Heroes collection, a portion of the net profits will go to the Wounded Warrior Project, as well as the, those who sacrifice collection, everything in that will go towards the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, I have the Yahweh. I have a remake of Straight Out of Compton. You know, you see all these shirts everywhere that say straight out of whatever city you live in or whatever at like your local Walmart. Um, I've got the In My DNA. Let's see, I have Guilty by Association. I have Christian Combos. I have the I Am 3 Motto Collection. Yeah, I have a whole list of stuff that's got to be put back up on the store. As well as stuff coming soon. Um, honestly, I think that's it for this one. I can't really think of anything else I could talk about. But I need to hurry up and work my magic on getting these other other three or other four collections up. As always, if you're on Facebook, watch, like, and follow the page. Comment, react, share the video. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Change the notification bell to all. You'll be notified 30 minutes for a new video post. And, uh, I'll... Uh, yeah, no. Um, those are the free options to help support the channel. Or channels, I should say. Uh... The paid option, if you want to be labeled as an executive producer in any JF TV show, currently right now, it's just Life of JF, <clears throat> you can go to shopim3.com forward slash JFTV dash EP, which I'll throw it up on the screen. $50 minimum order will get your name plastered in one of my videos as a in five of my videos, excuse me, for, um, I just messed that up. Five of my videos. And That's the paid option. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'm out.